you're anything like me, you want to eat healthy, but you don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. And that is why I love to have the easiest, simple meals. If you're busy like me, I don't know, maybe you're in school, maybe you're working, you don't have time during the week usually to cook your meals. When you're hungry, you do not make the best decisions. If you already have your meals prepped in the fridge, ready to grab, ready to go, you are never going to be in that situation. That's why I love to meal prep. I always did it when I was home and I was studying because I didn't want to be in that situation of being super hungry and not knowing what to eat. Now that I'm working an office job, a 9 to 5 job, and I'm at work the entire day, I need meals ready that I can take with me to work. I'm coming at you in the most Sunday glam. It is rough. It is very rough, but I refuse to put on makeup and dress up on a Sunday. Okay, so this is this is what we're going this is what we're getting today. For breakfast, I want to make some strawberry overnight oats because I love oats in the morning and I love overnight oats because they keep me full the entire morning. I easily get through with them until lunch. And the second thing is they are so easy to make, easy to make and also easy to bring to work with me. <laughs> so today I decided to make them in these little glasses, which you totally don't have to do. If you watch my last meal prep video, you see that I just took these plastic containers. I forgot to press the record button in the beginning, but all I did was pretty much to weigh out my oats. And I didn't take a lot of oats this time. I only took like 20 grams because I wanted to make it a little bit more high protein without protein powder. So these are more like more yogurty oats. The other oats that I made in my previous video are more <laughs> oats oats and I also use little bit of protein powder but I didn't want to make the exact same and I like to have a little bit of variation in my overnight oats and that's also why I decided honestly this is an extra step I mean it didn't take a lot of time but I decided to take some frozen strawberries put them in a the microwave heat them up a little bit and then put them into the mixer because I thought it would be fun to mix them in with the yogurt and have like a pink strawberry overnight oats and I think it looks so cute at the moment it is strawberry season and I love strawberries okay when it's strawberry season I'm eating strawberries all the time all the time so I decided to cut up some fresh strawberries sprinkle them on top and then put some peanut butter on top and one of my most game-changing weighing tips if you like to weigh your food I personally like to weigh certain things because then I that I'm staying on track with my eating goals especially when I want to lose weight I take the entire top of peanut butter put it on the scale and then measure out of the top the grams that I want to have. This has changed my life. I don't know why I didn't start it sooner, but ever since I discovered it, I love this tip so, so much. And then on top, I just put some agave syrup, which is my sweetener of choice. You can also use honey or maple syrup, whatever you like. But I like to use my trusty agave because I think it just tastes so good. This only takes a few minutes. It is so easy to make. It just stir everything together, put it in the fridge and breakfast. Done. Moving on to lunch, I saw this actually on Instagram from Mac B Fit. She had this on a story a couple of times, I think, and I was like, oh my gosh, it looks so good. So I was like, okay, I want to try that. And it was the easiest thing I made for lunch as a meal prep. In a while <laughs> it was literally there was no effort involved and this is my favorite thing for my meal prep lunch because I don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen and do a million things when I'm meal prepping all I did was cook the rice I always take one cup of rice and then double the amount of water today I took like two and a half cups of rice because I wasn't sure how much we need and I have a little bit of leftover still and then I just put the beef, like the um, lean minced beef, into a pan with some oil, fried it a little bit, and then I just seasoned it with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of soy sauce. And in the meantime, all I did was cut the cucumbers into my little cubes, and then I cut some red beets. I absolutely love red beets so much. I usually eat them from the jar, like the salad red beets. They're also amazing, but I got a little bit sick of them after eating them so much. So it was like, I want to buy the fresh red beets and they are so 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 good I haven't had them in so long 
absolutely love them and I love having food that has a higher volume like beets, lettuce, cucumbers when I'm losing weight especially because then it looks like you have more on your plate but you're not eating more because these things are so low in calories you know I am also explaining this in my how to lose weight video if you want to watch that or if you want to research into it it's called high volume food so pretty much food that has a lot of volume but not a lot of calories biggest weight loss tip ever for for being full for a longer time. I also put a little bit of soy sauce into my little minced beef bowl and a little bit of mayo because I need some sauces to spice my food up, okay? I cannot eat it plain like that. It's a little bit boring to me. I love the combination of soy sauce and mayo. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend trying it. It is so good. And then, yeah, and I topped it off with some pomegranate seeds. I haven't bought them in so long because they're usually very, very expensive. But I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna take them. And you only need a little bit of it but you have a little bit of crunch in your meal which I absolutely love so yeah and we already ate it for lunch today so I only have three more lunches for my week because one day I'm gonna eat in the I don't know what it's called but I'm gonna get a, uh, a salad there and probably order some plain chicken like they make you grilled chicken and then I have a salad buffet buffet <laughs> and I can just eat there and Friday because my last Friday where I work at the moment I'm gonna have a pizza at work because Friday is pizza day where I work at the moment and since it's my last Friday and, and I haven't had pizza the last few Fridays I was like this Friday I'm gonna have some pizza <laughs> so if you're wondering why I only have three meal prep lunches well probably you're wondering why I have six my boyfriend and I are sharing, but we're both getting free portions for this week. Okay, whatever. Moving on. This took me less than an hour. I don't even know if it was like half an hour. It was so quick to make today. This is gonna be something that I'm gonna make more often because of how fast it was and of how good it tastes. We love a combination of both, right? If you noticed, I didn't make dinner. I never make dinner on the days where I meal prep my lunch and my breakfast because for me, it just gets too overwhelming. So I usually make my dinner the next day and this week for dinner I was like I want to have a little bit of variation in my dinners which I usually don't I usually eat the same the entire week <laughs> but this week I was like I want to meal prep my chicken I know some people think it's disgusting but I just meal prep my chicken for the entire week and then I want to make the first three days of the week I want to make a barbecue chicken pizza with tortilla wraps this is so 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 good I mean who doesn't want to have a pizza in the evening right so all you do is take your tortilla put on some barbecue sauce and then I put on red onions, my chicken, cheese, like mozzarella cheese, pineapple, you totally don't have to put on pineapple if you don't like it, oh baby spinach, did I forget anything? <laughs> and then I just put everything like that in the oven for like I don't know five minutes until I feel like the cheese melted enough for my liking and then I just eat it like that and this is one of my favorite easy dinners that you can make fresh every night and then for the second dinner of this week I'm gonna take the rest of the chicken and I'm gonna make some potatoes I'm not sure if I'm gonna make like cubes or fries but chicken with potatoes and some frozen veggies so we don't have to cut anything except for the potatoes but this it takes like two minutes I I'm pretty sure I'm gonna eat it with some mayo and some ketchup. I love this as my dinner. Or what I also really like is making sriracha with mayo and honey and have like a hot chili, hot chili, hot honey chili sauce. I don't know what it's called. And for dessert in the evening or for snacks in between, I always have like my quark, my Greek yogurt, which is super high in protein. And then I just add some strawberries or some frozen fruits that I have at home, like raspberries, mangoes. I have everything at home. I also really like these pre-bought, like these protein yogurts and these protein puddings from time to time because sometimes I don't want to make the quark because it's like so plain. Lately I have been obsessed with it again but I had my phases where I couldn't eat it at all like at all because I was eating it so much okay <laughs> so I also like to have the puddings you know they're like chocolate and vanilla and caramel and I love them so much so I like to have a variation of both of them and these are gonna be my snacks for the week I just make them on the day where I eat them or I bring the yogurt or the pudding with me for work and then put it in the fridge and eat it when I'm hungry in between meals I think it is such an amazing feeling to know that you're going to eat healthy the entire week that you're gonna meet your weight loss goals if losing weight at the moment is your goal which for me it is and yeah it just feels amazing having all of these fresh healthy meals prepped for the week being prepared for the week when you're gonna be super busy having your healthy meals in the fridge 
I love it. It is so, it is so satisfying. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you want to see more meal prep videos, food videos, workout videos, all random stuff. And give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!